It's Kygo, Winnie Houston, Higher Love on Mix 94.1. Hi, Marina. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Am I the right caller? You are. You're caller 20. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's been a long time. Oh, great. Great. Thank you so much. Marina, who do you think the player is Lizzo is talking about on the Minnesota Vikings? Oh, gosh. I'm a Patriot fan. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. You, you, you're, you're now qualified for these tickets to go see Lizzo New Year's Eve at the Cosmopolitan. You just got her new album, her latest album, Cause I Love You. And this is a daily grand prize drawing. So good luck to you, Marina. Okay, when can I pick up the uh, CD? We'll put you on hold, and Steph will give you all the information on your CD. And speaking of winning, 825, we have your tickets to go see Third Eye Blind. It's time for the Mercedes Hot 3, Mix 94.1. The Hot 3 is brought to you by Sky Diamonds. Five years, no interest, only at Sky Diamonds in Town Square. New survey asks people to name the top digital annoyances around the holidays, meaning things that have to do with your phone or social media. And three of the top five involve jealousy. Do you have any social media or digital annoyances this time of year? Just, well, no, just it's like, uh, uh, just in general, when someone doesn't use punctuation when they send a text message. Oh. Like, you don't have that millisecond to do a period or an exclamation point. What about people that send seven text messages when it could be all in one? That's my wife, and it gives me such anxiety. Yeah, that's, I, I get a lot of those, and I'm like, what? It's like, hey. Next text message. What's going on? Hey, are we gonna talk? I, I'm like, oh man, this could have been just one text. Message. I know. Um, and then you look at your phone and you have 15 missed text messages. You start freaking out. Well, number one is when people brag by showing off their gifts on social media. That is the top digital annoyance this time of year. People boasting on social media about where they've traveled for the holidays is also on the list. Replying to holiday messages from people you never talk to the rest of the year. Is number three. It's like, where'd that come from? You didn't, you all of a sudden just popped out of nowhere, right? Um, People bragging online about holiday events and experiences and friends and family who start huge group texts just to say Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. And then then, um, it's like a group text and say there's 10 numbers on there. and You only have like six of them in your phone and there's four. You don't know who it is. You ever been on one of those text exchanges? Yeah, the, just the number. Yeah, you see, this, you don't like, know, is, who is that? Uh, Obviously, I know that person because I connected through this text exchange, but I have no idea who that is. I usually just sit that one out and wait until someone kind of addresses them in some way. But yeah, that's really annoying. Um, are you feeling stressed this time of year? Uh, my stress levels go up and down. Right now, they're down. Well, if you want your stress level to come down even more, mm. all you got to do is flirt with a coworker. Flirting with a coworker can help improve your self-image. Researchers found that banter among colleagues improves a person's self-image, which in turn protects them from stressors in their lives. But with it, while employees enjoyed flirtation when it came from coworkers, it was less appreciated by supervisors. So, if you're a supervisor, don't flirt okay, with your okay. coworkers. Just to, why don't you try it? Go ahead, flirt with uh, Steph. Well, I was going to go with Jocelyn because they had one top of mind. Oh, okay. Here we go. Because, um, you know, last hour we learned that your your ex-boyfriend is dating Madonna. Oh, my gosh. Stop. He's not my ex-boyfriend. We went to high school together. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> you need Doritos. Oh, my Stop gosh. Stop covering your ears. <laughs> ah! Well, I was going to say, if you want to get back at him and, you know, be with an older man yourself. Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Oh, well, um, you know. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's hear it, JC Fernandez. That's what, that was my flirt right there. That's no. all I got. JC, you suck at flirting. <laughs> Would you like to be with an older man? <laughs> That's no. your flirt. That's gross. No I thought, tact I at thought, all. I thought it worked. She's like, bring it on. No, I was waiting for it, and I was no. like, oh, that was it? Oh. Well, if you have snacks, she likes snacks. So you can bring her <laughs> yeah, snacks. Oh, my gosh. I got a Three Musketeers bar in my, uh, in my office. That's from what, how many months ago was that? I bought it last night. You want it? Oh, did you? Yeah. You oh, went wow. and bought a Three Musketeers bar? No, I'm just flirting with her. Oh, I didn't think anyone bought a Three Musketeers bar. JC. Oh, Laura. Laura, Laura. It's just not my stress levels never going up. I don't like flirting. <laughs> Especially because I'm happily married, forcing me to flirt with, with Jocelyn.
<laughs> All right, but I didn't force you. You flirt with Steph. Uh, hey, Steph. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, not bad. You look super cute today. Really? Thanks. But you look cute every day. Oh, wow. Are you coming on to me, Mercedes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I do feel the stress level going down a little bit. This mine, mine is going up because now James is going to be like, what the heck is happening here? <laughs> Guess he's going to go on to Matt now. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. We'll continue. Why don't you flirt with... Um, can you get our boss on the phone? Of course. Yeah. Why don't you get J-Love on the phone? <laughs> and JC, why don't you flirt with our boss? I, I really see something beautiful that will arise from this. All right. This is all to bring your stress level down a little bit. Now, it doesn't work the opposite way. If J-Love flirted with you, that would not that would not. Okay, I got to flirt stress. with him? But you flirt with him. Okay. Be like, hey, you know, whatever, whatever you got to do, just don't do what you did with Jocelyn because that did not work very well. But that is the truth, though. Well, well uh, 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 someone that Jocelyn went to high school with and danced with at her senior prom is now dating Madonna. It was a homecoming, and it was probably like a little jig. It wasn't even like, ooh, <laughs> let's <laughs> dance together. <laughs> it wasn't fancy. Okay, well, still, let us let us blow it up because we want to get on TMZ Sensationalism. <laughs> All right, so she's getting Jay on the phone. I don't know if this will... I'll do my last story okay. while, while she gets him on. Finally, this morning, if you have always feared the day when you would start acting and sounding like your mom, science has now figured out when it will be, and it may be sooner than expected. They interviewed a bunch of men and women for this project and asked them about when they began to feel... And act more like moms and dads, including the starting to like the same things, consuming the same media, even saying the same things you did roll your eyes at as a kid. And they found that women start turning into their moms between 30 and 35 years old. Uh, 26% start a little later between 35 and 40 and 10% manage to make it until between 40 and 50 before it happens to them. So the average age for this inevitable switch to take place is 33 years old. Do you, are you picking up any traits of your mom? Have you noticed anything as, as once you became a mom yourself that you started to pick up some of her, her qualities and traits? Yes. Like within the last couple of years, I've noticed that I'm turning into my mom because I tell my kids to stand up straight. If I see them slouching, I'll, I'll poke my finger in their back and I'll go, sit up straight. Mm. And my mom used to do that all the time because I would slouch. And then she'd, she'd poke me in the back. And so I, when the first time I did that, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm turning into her, making them stand up straight. For guys, don't worry, you're a little later, 34, that you start turning into your dad's. Do you see yourself turning into your dad? No, I haven't picked up any of his traits. I have not. Well, I'm sure there's stuff, but as far as like, because I don't have kids to pass down his his parental wisdom to. I, I think you started turning into your dad like 10 years ago. Really? Yes. The sayings that you say. Oh, like, and the expressions and stuff. All the expressions uh-huh. and, and the mannerisms. I one, I think you've been your dad for 10 years. <laughs> you just did not even know it. Our boss is not picking up. Oh. I guess he doesn't want the to be flirted with. Playing hard to get, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Lover. Taylor Swift, Lover, Mix 94.1, Mercedes in the morning, 825. Your tickets to go see Third Eye Blind. This is their New Year's Eve show over at the House of Blues. It is 803. We have a lot coming up in this hour. Our big first ever white elephant party is happening this hour. Pink Box is here. They're just dropping off some donuts. We're all set, ready to go. And we've been doing a lot of these end of the year lists. You know, the top songs, the most downloaded this, the... Uh, most tweeted about whatever, but I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to do our show top list. It's more, instead of like your Spotify personal top songs list, we're going to do our show top things list. Okay. Okay. I've got a list of a few categories and I want you guys to participate too. We'll post the categories on our Facebook page, Mercedes in the Morning, and respond to them. Let's see what the year was like for you. This is all like personal stuff, and we'll go around and and try to see what the year was like, okay? What? (laughs) Is that the Derek England? That's our Derek England drop, him saying what? (laughs) Wait, wait, I heard we have a Derek England remix. Wait, of of him, uh, the what? What? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Turn down for what? (laughs) <laughs> oh, phase out. Turn down for what? We need that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. All right, here we go. For the show, 
ladies and gentlemen, what was your top store you spent the most money at this year? 702-364-9400. Top store you spent the most money at this year. You go ahead. Take the first one. I think for me, the top store I spent the most money at this year had to have been, not by choice, but the Apple store. I think with just, uh, I got my husband an iPhone for his birthday. Then we got my daughter one. Then with all my downloads and all of that, I think that probably the Apple store was the place I spent the most money this year. How about you? Does a grocery store count? Yeah, any store. It would be Sprouts because I fell in love with their with their shredded chicken. And so I buy that a lot. You do. You eat that a lot. Yeah, because my before it'd be Cravings, my favorite restaurant that was by my house. Uh-huh. And that was every day. Same thing. Cravings shut down over the summer. Ooh. And after that, I was a lost man. And then I discovered Sprouts and just their, their shredded chicken. So I go to Sprouts a lot for, for lunch okay. and dinner. Steph, store you spent the most money at? Mine would have to be, we talked about this, Nike. Nike. A lot of sneakers, clothes. We spent a lot on that Nike app. Okay. Jocelyn, store you spent the most money at? Ironically, or I don't know. Is it ironic? Um, the Raider Image. All of my checks, I pretty much spend at the Raider Image store. Really? Are you just that big of a Raiders fan, or you just want to have more stuff that you can wear to work? More, uh, more stuff. Technically, we have a uniform, but like sometimes I see something, I'm like, oh, and we get a good discount on it. Maybe I'll just buy it. So, okay. Yeah. Top song you played on repeat this year. What was the top song you played on repeat this year? For me, it's an ACDC song that I discovered over, man, early in the summer. It's um, this one right here. I love it. I play it twice a day. Oh, wow. But I play it at select times. I, I play it pulling into work or I play it at the gym when, uh, before I, it's like my theme song before I hit the track and go running at the gym. It's like my pump up song. I think for me, it had to be this song. I know it's played out for a lot of us now, but just her whole new album that came out, Billie Eilish, Bad Guy. I listened to this hundreds of times. Duh. How about you, Steph? What was the song you played on repeat this year? My song was definitely Cardi B Money on repeat. Money. Well, really it's the best the hype song. I don't really need That's a good one. A good workout well, one, too. Good workout, listening just on in the car on the way to work, hype me up for the day. This is interesting because for me, my ultimate hype song for the year is this one. And then we got Steph. What about you, Jocelyn? Uh, sorry, I couldn't put it on the thingy, but um, Needy by Ariana Grande. Why this one? Um, it was a song that really, this whole album, that's why it was so important that I went to this concert, I guess, but this whole album was really relatable, and for some reason I just looked at my music, and that's the one that played the most. What? What? <laughs> That's what I picked. Turn down for what? Derek Turned English what? version. Um, okay, I know we're going to run out of Let's time do one here, more so here. we'll yeah. do one we, more. We have um, to be on track for the start of our white elephant party, because once that party starts, all, all the, we're just taking it to the end, baby. Okay, pick which one you want to answer. You can pick any one of these three that you personally want to answer. Your top phrase or word you said this year, your top favorite person in your life this year, or your top worst person in your life this year. Pick the one you want to answer. JC, go ahead. Wait, phrase? Phrase or word you said this year? Favorite person in your life this year? Or worst person in your life this year? Okay, my favorite person, his name is Ed Milet. He does a motivational podcast. He's an entrepreneur. I he, saw. I heard him on a podcast I listened to as a guest. Did you like him? Yeah, he seemed he's nice. Really he's good. Like very, he reminds me of Tony Robbins. Yeah, like he's he's, very, he's buddies yeah. with Tony Robbins. Oh, like Tony okay, Robbins got him that. started in uh, in the life coach and motivational speaking. He also has a podcast and um, th- just his line of thinking. I think I discovered him at the beginning of the year, and I just I love his podcast. 
Um, I follow him on social media. He really has changed me in many different ways mm. and has opened up some doors to different podcasts that I listen to and, and, and people in my life. So for me, it is Ed Milet. Okay, Steph. Which I'm one gonna, are you answering? I'm going to go with the top shirt slash outfit that I wore too much this year, and it would definitely be the wide-legged pants, my white ones. I outwore those. Do you know which one, which one I'm talking about? I know the one you're talking about. I forgot to say that category. So if people are like, where did that come from? I sent that. That's on my list. I forgot to oh. say that one. You're probably like, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So top, top shirt slash outfit is also on the list. I saw yes. All right. Yes. Uh, Mercedes, you give us yours. Um, I'd say my top. Um, oh, man. Top phrase or word I said this year. I think it would be. I think it would be, I love you so much. I just, I say that a lot. And I always ask my, my family if I say that too much, especially my daughters. And they they say, no, you don't say it enough. And so I say it like 500 times every week. I just, I always say, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. And I say it just like that. And so that's my thing. That's good. All right. So Jocelyn, wrap it up here. Um, let's go with the top person all year. And I think everyone will back me on this one. I'm going to say Steph. Because what? <laughs> what? Because we all had, you know, we had something going, the three of us, and then Steph came in and was the last little piece of the puzzle, and we work great as a team, and I love her. Aww, yes, thanks, we Joss. love her, too. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> but he loves you. She's uh, no Ed my He loves Ed my but... <laughs> <Ed Marlette. laughs> but I love you so much. I love you so much. Thanks, Joss. I love you all. You guys are all my favorite people of this mm, year. If I what? <laughs> Sorry, James. <laughs> Quick, name a third eye blind song that you like. Jumper. Jumper. Third eye blind. New Year's Eve. House of Blues. What a show it's going to be. And you are going to be there. Your tickets are coming up in less than five minutes. You know, we're uh, getting ready for our big white elephant party that's happening in a few minutes. So excited. Make sure you stick around for that. We're going we're gonna to play the game. We're still trying to... Learn the rules of the game. You and I have never done this before, so that's going to be fun. You're explaining that there's steals involved yeah. and bounce backs and everything. We're going to have it on Facebook Live. We invite you to to, to listen along. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, for the for the holiday, you're going back home to spend time with family, which I'm so happy that you get the opportunity to do that. I was talking to my mom last night, and we just we we dropped the ball. We waited too long. I'm not going to be able to make it back, but I do plan. On just vegging and watching a lot of movies. That's and good. Stuff. You caught up on movies. Yeah. yeah. And I was I was thinking about it because I like to introduce older movies, like eighties and nineties movies, to my kids so they can see some of the the classics. And I was thinking about what are we going to watch when they're on vacation? And there was a movie that jumped into my head that I don't know if you remember it, but it is one of those movies that I feel like it was kind of a kids movie, but it still makes me cry as an adult. Is there a kid's movie that makes you cry as an adult? And what is it? 702-364-9400. Maybe it's just a scene. This is a scene from the movie that I wanted my kids to watch over vacation. But now I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to be bawling like a baby. And now maybe they will be bawling like a baby. Do you remember the movie called My Girl? Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin and that Anna Chlumsky, she was in Vice or Veep, and it's the at the very end. Isn't there a bee sting involved? Yes, yes, I remember that watching that as a kid, and that bee sting, and just being very emotional, but not trying to trying to keep my emotions inside. Try watching it as an adult now. It's 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 worse. Oh. It's worse. What is the kids' movie that makes you cry as an adult? Seven zero two three six four ninety four hundred. This is the scene that. Oh, my gosh. And I'm actually going to grab a Kleenex because I might start crying. Ready? Hit yeah. it. You want to go tree climbing, Thomas J? His face hurts. And where is his glasses? He can't see without his glasses. Put his glasses on. Put on his glasses. He was going to be an acrobat. He's gone, sweetheart. He's gone. Oh, my gosh. When she tells him to put on his glasses, like that is the saddest thing. I seriously get so emotional when I see that, when I hear that. It's like, I, and I, 
I've seen that movie so many times, but I always end up crying on that one. Why does it, the dad at the end sound so insincere? <laughs> he's trying to he's pull gone. her away. Move on. <laughs> no, he's, it's Dan Aykroyd. Is Dan Aykroyd yeah. the dad? Oh, we're all sarcastic. <laughs> he's gone, sweetie. Move on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? I, that, <laughs> stop it, Derek. What is, the, what is the movie for you? 702-364-9400. Um, we're getting some texts here. Fox and the Hound. Cannot make it through the end without crying like a baby. Uh, for John, Disney's uh, Big Hero 6, for sure. Super sad moments with Baymax and Tadashi. Um, Benji from JJ on that one. Let's talk to Dorian. Dorian, what is the kids' movie that always makes you cry? For me, it was definitely uh, Secret of Nim when uh, Nicodemus gets crushed trying to save the Bridgie's house. Now, I never saw that, so I guess spoiler alert, but I probably, yeah. I probably won't oh, see it. So no, no, it's okay, because I probably it. won't see it. it I probably won't. To no. watch list. It yeah. sounds like no. a sick kids movie. You should watch it with your kids. I should. I actually will, and I'll forget what you said, I because I always forget stuff like that. But Yeah, spoiler alerts in all these movies, by the way. I know, you... and, and they're older, but still, yeah, yeah, I guess we should think about that. This one says, when I watch A Land Before Time, I cry. You leave... Without Petri makes me tear up every time. Did you see that one? I didn't see that one either. I did see that as a kid. I can't remember it, though. Like I said, I forget everything. (laughs) Jen, good morning. What is it for you? Good morning. It was actually on the other day. My husband and I were just a mess because our dog is 13, but it was Homeward Bound, the very end of Homeward Bound, when um, the dog chants and the cat, and then you're waiting for the old dog to come up the hill, and oh my gosh, we were a mess. Anything that has to do with animals pretty much will get me every time. Do you have a movie like that? It's like Marley and Me. Oh my gosh. (sighs) Oh my gosh. That was one that's... Don't even get me started. That, ugh. I, mean, I felt like I knew what was coming, but still, like the buildup. Yeah. And then Marley gets sick at one point and rebound. Like, oh, okay, they're rewriting the book. They're, re- they're rewriting the movie. Oh, no. Oh, Marley and me. <laughs> Not going to happen. The Disney movie Up. We're getting tons of texts on that one. The Lion King. When Mufasa passes away and Simba's begging him to get up. That's a bad. Oh, that's a, a rough Did, one. Too. Have you rewatched E.T. recently? Was E.T. a sad one? Cause I haven't watched E.T. since I was a kid. But I remember, like, it ends well. All oh, well, well, that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some sadness, right? He turns pale and almost dies. Yeah, I teared up at that reboot commercial. That actually got me yeah. pretty good. That was super sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to cry today. Today's is an exciting day. Oh, we're going to celebrate. Coming up right around 8.50, the first ever Mercedes in the Morning White Elephant Party. Our, our guests are starting to arrive, and the green room is set up with donuts from Pink Box Donuts. I see people outside standing there, Steph. I don't know if they're, like, waiting to come in or if they're just people trying to get into no, our party. they're trying to crash the party. No party there's, crashers. There's a bunch of people waiting out there. Right now, for you, tickets to go see Third Eye Blind. Your New Year's Eve is all set. Third Eye Blind, House of Blues. Caller 20 702 364 9400. That's you. You're playing heads up. We have four categories for you to choose from this morning. So you get to pick the one you want and you get to pick your partner. And if you get six in 60 seconds, you are going to win. Caller 20, you get to play it right now. Give us a call. Our number 702 364 9400. Good luck. Selena Gomez, use you to love me. Heads up in just one second here. We got Travis, our contestant, ready to go. Uh, we just peeked out of the green room, though. Is it, are people are here. People are arriving for our first ever white elephant party. We got our, our donuts from Pink Bock Donuts. We got coffee. And Steph put out the, uh, you know, the foaming hand sanitizer you see at schools and oh, stuff like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that's for people good. To clean their hands. I know, it's cold and flu season. Clean I your hands that. before you eat donuts. But everyone's <laughs> out there, but they have Christmas music playing. It's, it's going to be so, so much fun. It's festive. Yeah, I want to get my Santa Claus hat so we can, like, get all into yeah. the spirit and stuff. <laughs> so we'll do that coming up at 8.50, but right now, let's do it. Heads up. It's time for Heads Up with Mercedes in the Morning on Mix Nutty 4.1. Hey, Travis. Good morning. Good morning. You're caller 20. You're playing heads up. All right, Travis. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Okay, we have four categories. Pick which one you want. Do you want to go with twinning, hard candy, spill the tea, or TV? Well, uh, let's do TV. TV it is. These are all things that are associated with television. Okay, Travis? Okay, Who do you want to pick as your partner? 
Let's go, JC. All right. All right, Travis, we got 60 seconds on the clock. You get six correct. You're going to go see Third Eye Blind, New Year's Eve, everything to do with TV. We start now. This is a genre. It focuses like the Ashians, Survivor. Reality TV. Correct. CNN and Fox, has they cover the news. Yes. You would watch... Um, you would watch it. You would go to the theater and watch what? Opera? No, Play? like Star Wars is a... Movie. Yeah, movie is correct. Be, uh, when you're watching a TV show, this is how, how TV stations pay the bills. They play these. Uh, commercials. Correct. The NFL, NBA. Football. Sports. Sports is correct. Um, it's Alan, Dr. Phil, and the Tonight Show. Yes! 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 Woo! Yeah. Woo! Congratulations! Awesome. Travis, Thank you. you just got tickets. Well done, buddy. Tickets to go see Third Eye Blind. This is the New Year's Eve show at House of Blues. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for listening, Travis. Nice job. And the winning continues. Next hour, we qualify you to go see Lizzo to her sold out concert on New Year's Eve. About eight minutes away from the start of the first ever Mercedes in the morning white elephant party. The listeners, our guests are starting to arrive. They're enjoying the green room. We got coffee. This news updates happens now. It's the Mercedes Hot 3 Mix 94.1. Hot 3 It's brought to you by Sky Diamonds. Check this out. Five years, no interest, only at Sky Diamonds in Town Square. All right. We were just talking about this a little while ago. We were talking about movies and, and catching up on them um, during the holiday break. A recent survey asked people to rank their favorite holiday activities. And I guess watching kids open presents doesn't count because it's not on the list. I love watching kids open presents. Number one is watching movies. 52% of people say it's one of their favorite holiday experiences. Going to a holiday concert was on the list, traveling somewhere, decorating the tree, and ice skating. Do you have any holiday traditions? Because we always, we as a kid, we used to always go see a movie Christmas Eve night at the movie theater. Oh, that's cool. But Or not Christmas Eve night, Christmas night. Christmas night, okay. Yeah, it, after everyone ate and stuff, we'd all go to the movies. But we, I don't do that anymore with my family. Do you guys do anything like that? There was one my brother and I used to do for, for, for years. It just stopped like about probably four or five years ago. But we would always go out Christmas Eve and go shopping. And it started when I first got my license. Like, we, I did all my shopping on Christmas Eve. But then that became kind of more of a hassle. So we, say, we always save one gift. So, like, oh, I got to get Uncle Randy's gift. So we, we, we always go out Christmas Eve on the di- during the day. But just kind of enjoy the chaos of the malls and the stores. We get lunch together and just get that one gift for someone we forgot to get a gift for. It was just a cool little bonding, bonding experience. That's cute. I like that. It, there is something exciting about shopping on Christmas Eve. It's like, like we the got energy, finish. Yeah. There's not a lot of time left, so that's kind of cool. Um, also, this morning, so the this was a decade where a ton of new dating terms were invented. Some look like they're going to have more staying power than others. The New York Post put together a list of some of the terms that were born in the 2010s, and here are the five most popular. Swiping left and right. Tinder started in 2012, and with it, we learned about swiping left to say no and swiping right to say yes. To catfish someone, what does that mean, JC? <laughs> <laughs> to, I mean, to, to, to lie to someone about who you are. You're pretending to be someone you're not. And then when uh, it's the moment of truth, you discover the person, it, it's all lies. They're not uh, an amazing person. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not six feet tall, honey. You're not uh, an entrepreneur, okay? You're five foot two, and you're unemployed. <laughs> the Catfish documentary came out in 2010 and gave us a term to describe people pretending to be someone else online. Uh, ghosting became popular in 2015 as we really needed a way to sum up the most passive-aggressive way to end things with someone. Sliding into the DMs, that first uh, appeared on Urban Dictionary back in 2014, and Netflix and chill. The term exploded in 2015 as a modern update to the booty call. What is sliding into someone's DMs? I mean, what does that really mean? So, like, if on Instagram, I'm sending you a direct message? Yeah, it's like, I'm going to slide into your DMs. That means I'm going to have a private conversation with you. But you can still keep media. track of the conversation, right? Yeah, what do you, what do you mean? Because I always thought, like, sliding into someone's DMs means you're going to flirt, but that the, no one's going to know that you're flirting. But you can still screenshot the the conversation, right? Yeah, why couldn't you? Okay. For some reason, I always thought like sliding into someone's DMs meant like no one's going to see it. 
the proof is not going to be there. My message to you is going to disappear after some time. Oh, no. I mean, if it's on Snapchat, I guess. But You still screenshot it, right? Yeah, you can, yeah. Still, yeah, you can screenshot anything pretty Thank much. You. All right. Finally, this morning, a new survey we saw last month found that the most annoying things that house guests do are showing up unannounced, snooping around, and breaking stuff. And now we have some examples from a recent Reddit discussion about the same thing. What is the rudest thing a guest has ever done in your home? And some of these are like nightmare scenarios in my book. Uh, Breaking stuff was number one on the list. Lots of people complained about this one, but the best story was about an uncle who decided to fix a computer that wasn't broken and broke it. (laughs) Then he did the same thing to the dishwasher. Stealing stuff, everything from Vicodin and other prescription drugs Mm -hmm. to someone who said all their forks mysteriously went missing. Lots of toilet-related issues. Tons of people complain about things like clogged toilets, guests who didn't flush, and people who flush stuff that they shouldn't. Grooming issues. Um, One guest shaved their nether regions in the shower, resulting in a clogged tub and hair everywhere. And food rudeness, also some of the rudest things that a guest has done in your home. Eating all the food was a big complaint, although drinking milk straight from the carton and some weirdo who took one bite out of every single apple in the house. Just some of the things that you can hopefully look forward to this holiday season. What, what's it for you? The rudest thing? Um, I had a family member stay with me once and they, they um, were not of sober mind or body and they decided to take a shower and they did not use the shower there was a shower curtain in there and they just left it open and then we went into the bathroom and there was water everywhere and they were like baked out of their mind so they had no idea (laughs) (laughs) yeah that that happened i swear i never spent the night at mercedes house (laughs) it wasn't me Coming up here in just about four or five minutes, it's the first ever Mercedes in the morning white elephant party. We've got our 11 gifts ready to go. They're all wrapped. We've got a green room full of snacks and treats. This is very exciting. I, I've never done this before. You've never done this before. That's why we said we wanted to give it a shot. So that's coming up next. Let's do it. All right. Facebook Live, too. You can follow along. It's going uh, to be a good time. It's Maroon 5, Mix 94.1. <laughs> That's Maroon 5, it's Mix 94.1, it's Mercedes in the morning, and the moment has finally arrived. The first ever Mercedes in the morning white elephant party. We've got a studio filled with listeners. Make some noise, you guys. Yeah, I love it. Oh, this is so exciting. We are on Facebook Live right now if you want to watch. And uh, this is cool because we've never done a white elephant gift exchange before. We have. Christina, Joanne, Grace, Janelle, Sydney, Michael, and Aubrey all in studio right now. Special thanks to our friends at Pink Box Donuts for providing some donuts for us this morning. And have you guys done a white elephant before? Yeah, pretty much everyone. Everyone has? Except Janelle. Never. Okay, so. I've never done one either. It's my first one. My first two. This is exciting. (laughs) All right, so this is how it works. I guess the rules vary Mm -hmm. from party to party. So what we're going to do we kind of came up with some rules here and, and Steph, I'm going to divert to you on some of these because uh, you know, we don't know now there's steals involved. There's all sorts of rules, but we, these are the rules that we've kind of made so far. Um, If someone steals your gift, you can steal someone else's gift and choose an open, a wrapped one. Mm -hmm. You can, we continue until everyone has had a turn for a gift. A turn is ended when an unopened gift has been opened. Okay. Okay. Now, a gift can only be stolen once during a turn. If a gift is taken from someone during one round, they cannot take it back during that same round. However, you can take it back in a later round if you're in a position to select that gift. Okay. Now, the question is, yes, two steals max on a gift, correct? Okay, yeah. We're going to do two steals max on the same gift. Okay. Makes sense, everyone? Do you guys understand that? Two steals, sure. All right, good. Michael, Grace, ready? All right. We're going to all just kind of play this by ear and see how it goes. Okay. So we first need to, uh, everyone going to go around, draw it. Don't tell us what the number is. Yeah, just take a number because this is the order that we're going to be going in. Joanne is going. All right, Michael is up. We got Aubrey going. All right, it's Sydney. Did you guys get your fill of donuts out there and coffee? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, right? 
Grace, <laughs> Christina, and Janelle are all going. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a number here. This is very exciting. Okay. All right. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> and JC. All right. Wait. Is there, am I the last one? Oh, I, I need one too. I also need one, JC. Is there? Does someone have two? Maybe. Did anyone pick two? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, oh, JC, gosh. <laughs> I was trying to take two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to call out the numbers, and if it's your number, you step up to the microphone, and it is your turn to go. We're looking at our numbers now? Yeah, look at your number. <laughs> Just keep it a secret, though. Well, let's all be surprised. Contestant number one, will you please approach the microphone? Ah! It's Joanne. <laughs> Joanne. Now, Joanne is from our traffic department here at the radio station. I call her Jojo. She was like our babysitter for our kids Don't all growing up. Cry. I know. Oh, uh, we have someone <laughs> fo- someone did not show up. So yeah, Joanne so she's a last minute replacement, place. which is fine. This is awesome. We're happy you're here. You're part of the family. I'm a ringer. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve the accolades, you deserve the rewards. So you get to pick. You're the first one, Joanne. Any of these gifts that you see wrapped here, you get to pick. What do you want to go with? All right, she picked a big box. Get up on the mic there. All right. Let's... It's heavy. All right. Ooh. Let's open it here and see what we have. Beautiful wrapping paper, yes, right? Everything's so it good. All so Thank nice. You. Thank yeah. you. And shout out to our promotions department for getting these gifts, except for ours. The four of us we got picked our, our own, own yeah. gifts. Yeah. So what did you get? Ooh. It's a massager. Oh. <laughs> nice. I really need this. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I take it that you want to keep it? You because you d- d- does she have the opportunity? Oh no, she has to wait till the end, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so she has that gift on her own till someone steals. Okay, if someone oh, steals. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's hiding it. Okay. Don't leave. It. She's running to the car. <laughs> Joanne got the the nice, beautiful massager. Let's go with contestant number. Two. It's me, it's me, ah. Jocelyn. <laughs> All right, Jocelyn. Now, do you want to steal the massager from Joanne? Or do you want to pick up? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. What did you say, Joanne? I've been under a lot of stress lately. You Yo. know, you know, Jojo, I you deserve that massager. Thank you. I'm gonna choose something different. Oh. Okay, what are you gonna take? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. With okay, she picked one. Let's okay. open it up. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. This is very. This is fun. I love this. This is a lot of fun. Like... Something Lello. Oh, a sock shelf, socket shelf. Okay, what's this? So <laughs> it has six outlets, two USB ports, oh. uh, an amp, and a GFCI outlet, and you can mount stuff on it. Oh, you can put it in your bathroom. Everybody oh, wants wow. that. I see my, Michael back there. His eyes lit up when he saw that thing. Huh. He got excited. Do something like that, right? Okay. Yes. okay. So do you want? So you, the socket shelf is yours. It is mine. All right. Contestant number three. Who got number three? Step up to the mic. Microphone. Contestant number three. It's me! Oh! <laughs> it's all, it's all staff. Oh my yeah. No one else has got it. All right, Steph, you yes. are number three. Uh-huh. Do what I do you want to do? Do you want to steal Joanne's massager? Do you want to steal <laughs> Jocelyn's socket shelf? Or do you want to open a gift? So I have the advantage that I did wrap these gifts. So you know. <laughs> so I kind of know what I want, but I kind of just want to close my eyes and just... Ooh, pretend. Oh, good. I like that. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go with something on the floor. Oh, this fell. Maybe I'll go with this one. Okay. All right. Go I'm going to go with one. this one. That's very nice and honest of you. Yeah, she does. She is great, the only one who knows But what everything. a great wrapping job on these yeah. presents. Seriously. Thanks. Pro. I did run out of scotch tape in the middle of it, so I had to run to Walmart. Oh. But it was fine. It was fun. I felt cool. Okay. What'd you get? Oh. <laughs> yes. This is the ultimate karaoke microphone. It's funny because I was like, this is one of my top two things that I wanted. Oh! So you want it? You can't have it! (laughs) All right. All right. Contestant number four. Step up to the microphone. Number four. Number four? Is it you? It's me. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) All right. Why are we in the order like this? I don't know. That's really bizarre, though. Okay. Uh,. JC, do you want to steal any of these gifts you have seen, or would you like to open your own? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 
A massager. <laughs> I'm getting the eye. I'm getting the eye. I, I'm okay with the massage. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pass on the massage. Okay. So I'm going to come around here. <laughs> All right. What is JC going to pick here? Oh. Uh, uh, I want to go with... Oh, I'll go with this one. Okay, JC, <laughs> open her up. What you got here? He's holding it like it's a football. Again, we're on Facebook Live if you want to watch Mercedes in the Morning Facebook It page. feels soft. Oh. Let's see. What would you say? It's probably a blanket. I think so, too, Aubrey. <laughs> I think it's a blanket. Oh. No, it's the... The wedgie pillow? What? What's the wedgie pillow? <laughs> <laughs> Getting a wedgie is no longer a bad thing. Oh, it folds. <laughs> oh, but look at this, though. Okay, this is kind of cool. So, like, you can put it on your lap when you're on your computer. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you can put it in the car. You can be that. that uh, yeah, my grandfather had one of these. He had a bad back. <laughs> hey. Uh, look at that little kid passed out. Oh. Okay, I, I can't change. No, you had that opportunity already. Oh, man. <laughs> I got right. a wedgie pillow. This is not fair. We are on contestant number five. five. All right. Who is number five? All right. Where's okay. Janelle? Janelle? All right. All right, Janelle. Wedgie Checking pi- out your wedgie. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you want to take J- JC's wedgie? You want my wedgie? I, you know, you can keep your wedgie. <laughs> do you want to um, take a new gift or do you want to take one no, of the I'm other? No, I'm going to take one? this one because it looks cool. Okay. Jace, uh, Janelle is taking this triangle shaped box very odd shaped box you rap way better than i do i know i can't even rap lyrics thank you <laughs> first good one good one let's see what did janelle get i got a ukulele, a ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> awesome nice. a ukulele. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry i can't work today i'm gonna be a ukulele <laughs> Okay, let's go. Number six. Where are you at? Number six. It's your turn. Who has Who's number, number six? six? Oh, That's Aubrey. 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 Step All right. on up, Aubrey. Aubrey. All right, Aubrey. Do you want to steal the ukulele, the massager, no, the wedgie? I'm curious to see what else is here. Okay, oh, so Aubrey's you're going to do something. I may steal it. You might steal. No, it. you can't. You gotta. You gotta oh, steal before you open yeah, it. Yeah, you have to yeah. steal before. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's so fine. you got. All right. What are you gonna pick? This is kind of heavy. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this one. All, All right. right. Okay. Smaller gifts are better. Smaller. Sometimes great things come hey, in small I got packages. A, I got a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> then pick it. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the Fast and Furious. <gasps> the Fast and Furious eight movie collection. <laughs> my husband would like this. Oh, okay. I don't know how many, but my husband would like this. Hey, now just re gift it. Give it to him. Right? Put it on the tray. I don't know what to get him for Christmas. Now anyway. you, no, you got one. one. So, wait, yeah. All the DVDs? It, I, I think I so. think they're Blu ray. Eight movies. Blu ray. Oh, Blu ray. Yeah, I have a Blu ray, so that's good. If I didn't, that would be a problem. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aubrey. Okay, nice Aubrey. Show. Okay. Number seven. Who is number seven? Oh, oh it's Michael. Michael. All right, Michael. You've seen the gifts. Is there anything you want to ste- steal? No, everyone's been so nice so I know. far. I hate to be selfish at this point. No, go uh, ahead. Oh, he's looking at you the can massager. Steal. You can steal. No, no one's going to judge steal. you. The, the good thing is I've played this before, right? So if I steal something, they get to open something else. Yes, but, yes, uh, exactly. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the smallest thing over here. All the right. smallest one. Okay, it's here we go. Uh, something's good in small packages. Yes. yes. We saw that with the Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, what do we have here? Hey, Steph, oh, how cool. use the wireless. Oh, man. <laughs> what is it? Raiders headphones. Raiders, Raiders headphones. headphones. Is that from Jocelyn? Jocelyn, is that your gift? Yes. <laughs> discount, discount, discount. Now, Michael, are you a Raiders fan? You know, uh, I'm a Giants fan, but I'm about to be a Raiders fan. Look uh, at that, though. Yeah, how cool. She cre- she she put the gift Wireless receipt. Wireless stereo headphones. Awesome. Oh, those are nice. And yeah. there's a gift receipt on it in case you don't like it. Wasn't that sweet of Jocelyn? If you want that to is do. super sweet. <laughs> now you have to match me and return it if you don't like it. Okay, fair enough. No, okay, that. that's good. Okay. All right. So, so what number are up to That next? was number seven. Now we're on to number eight. Who's number eight? Oh, yeah. Christina. Right. Christina, right. you've seen the gifts. Yes, Anything I know. Anything you want? Well, hey, but like we love Joanne, but open. she wasn't going to be in this anyway. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> yes. I know. No, I'll, I'll open a new package. Okay, I'll you're going to... Wow. No steals. No steals. No, I feel bad. You guys are nice. <laughs> this is very sweet. All right, let's see. 
This is okay. heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh oh, oh, nice. Thing. What'd oh, you look, get? It goes with your wedgie. What do you got? <laughs> I got the uh, Comfort Gel Memory Foam Seat Cushion. Oh! oh. <laughs> Just make any seat comfortable. Great. I kind of like that. <laughs> Where's my wedgie? <laughs> you guys can take care of your little butts. There. <laughs> I want a steal. We need a steal. We got to get it interesting. All right. Number nine. Who's nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh. oh no, Sydney nine. is Sydney. up. All right, All right, Sydney. Do you want to steal? Do you want to be I our first steal? steal? Just for the sake of stealing something. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah. I want him. Oh! <laughs> oh! She stole the headphones from <laughs> Michael! Yeah, I, stole, I stole the Raiders headphones. All right, so Michael, you're back up. Right, Does Michael, wait, want, now, no. Michael can steal. Can he steal? We yeah. got two steals. Oh, so Michael can steal a present? Yeah, yeah, but he just can't steal his own present back. That's I the only thing. Right. Oh! So I can't steal the headphones back, but I can take a wedgie or a seat cushion. <laughs> yeah. Um. Or you can open or, a new gift. Or... Massage. I can actually use a seat cushion right here. So I'm oh, go. yeah, Michael, get dirty. <laughs> All right, so you're back, Christina. Okay. Christina. Open up gift. Oh, this was, that was fun. Yeah, good All job, right, Michael. The steals. Okay. All right, well, then I'm going to take the massager. No, we, oh. we only have two steals. We only have two steals, right? Is yes. that what we said? No. no. Two steals. This has items. Been, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. So she can steal it. it. Massager. No, nope. yeah. sorry. No, Joel. Oh, Joel, right. Oh, yeah. Don't be to be the first mean one. No, you're in. <laughs> this is great. She's stealing. <laughs> so, I mean, she, Joanne, Joanne, do you, you want to steal you steal or do you want to open something new? Okay, she's opening something new. Let's go, Joanne. Maybe another massager. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. This is so fun. Yeah. I like when people steal. This is really good. <laughs> Business just picked up. <laughs> Business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joanne. I wrapped that really, really well. <laughs> All right, Joanne's opening it. Oh, it's in a Nike gift. What? What? <laughs> if it's a pair of Nikes. Size what? <gasps> Ooh, oh. What's that? Is it Lush? A bracelet and... That's Lush Cosmetics. Oh, well, I think I know who bought this. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wasn't me. <laughs> it's okay, Shaggy. <laughs> oh, shower gel and a, a, bath, and a bath, bomb. bath bomb. And crystal. And a load of light crystal bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell who bought that one? <laughs> that's that's my gift. The Lodalite will cure all that ails you. I wear a Lodalite. So a massager bracelet. that you don't have anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right now. You're going to put that on right now? So you're going to keep it? You? Oh, yeah, you, you have can't. to keep it. You're yes, stuck. You got, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was my gift. Thanks for putting it in a Nike box. You're welcome. <laughs> it was good. It's a nice little trick I did there, huh? Uh, uh, right. So what number are we on? Nine? Hey. Ten. 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 All right. I'm so sorry. I've been wanting a crystal bracelet. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Grace just stole Grace. Poor Joanne. She had no idea what she was talking about. Back to my office now, okay? No, Joanne, that means you get to steal something Do you else. Steal or... something else that oh, hasn't that oh, hasn't been stolen. Okay. I'll just open the oh. <laughs> All right. She can steal the massager back because it's only been stolen once. Oh! But I thought, wait, 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 wait! I thought she can't steal steal your own gift back right away. Oh! Right in the same Thank round. Thank you guys. See, well, I don't one know. second, Michael, you've done this before. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. In the same round, you can't steal it, but uh, later rounds, you can. So she... and it's only been stolen once, so she can steal it back if she wants to. Then and then it can't be stolen again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Christina, you're Christina, back. You're back up. Do you want to steal something else? Or do you want to open one? I'll open a new one. Okay. Okay. Oh man, this is so this is, savage. Oh my gosh. This is like amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh my god, this is perfect. I'm always. Free. Oh, what is this? The, oh, okay. It's a oh, huggle it's pet. A pet that turns into a hoodie. <laughs> Does it give you a massage? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Huggle pets? What's Animal a... hoodie. Oh, that's super cute. I'm always cold. I'm always cold. Yeah. It's, a it's great. All right. Yeah, it does look like Sitch. Okay. Number 10. Who is number 10? 11. 11. Oh, is this the last one? Yes. I'm 11. 11. Yes. Yes. So what are the rules, 
goes for number eleven. I just I Thank can you. take anything I want, or I can go. But for that is not. You can't. You can't take the massager because that's been a double steal. Oh. So everything else is up for grab, Mercedes. Anything else mm. but the massager. Let mm. me and take the fast and furious. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, please. Take the lady. <laughs> another white elephant. <laughs> Headphones. Seat cushion. Seat cushion. Mm. You know what? I'm going to open that gift. Oh, oh, this is it then, right? All right. No, because whoever went first, don't they get... Oh, but she's already got what she wants. Right? So this is it. This, this is, is it. it. All right. Last gift. Here we go. All right. JC. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Fresh feet. No more bending or straining to clean your feet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank God. I've been wanting one of these forever. It's a pumice stone and it exfoliates and massages. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> That's just great. I wonder who bought that one. <laughs> Not me. You know hey, what I bought? What did you buy? <laughs> massager. You bought the massager? JC oh, bought the massager. Everyone wanted that. $24.99 nice on Amazon. <laughs> Wow. Now we're all going to Amazon yeah. right now trying to exchange our gifts. <laughs> uh, Steph, what did you buy? You know, we know that Jocelyn was the headphones. What did you yes. buy? Yes. Can you guys guess what I was? I bought? The ukulele. Yes, yeah. you are correct, Janelle. You know, I got the ukulele. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. First day you all great, huh? Yay! Yay! Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you, Pink Box Donuts, for getting us some sweets. That was fun. Yeah, can we trade now if any if it's a mutual trade, if anyone wants to? Off the air, you could do whatever All you right. want with it. If anyone, oh. wants, if anyone wants fresh feet, let me know. I'm up I'm up for negotiation here. And this is this is it really for so so all the years past, Mercedes and I have known each other for, for many years and Christmas gifts have been always very special, just very sentimental, some over the top. Yeah. So I'm walking home this year. With a wedgie. That's it. And I am walking home with fresh feet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Two of our body parts are going to be very yeah. clear. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for Thank joining us. It was a lot of fun. We appreciate it. That was a blast. That was a good time. I would say the first ever Mercedes in the Morning White Elephant Party was a huge success. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I wish it went on longer. I didn't want it to end. Same here. I was like trying to stall and like, let's let's keep going. People had to go to work and stuff, but thank you to everyone who participated. Thank you to our promotions department for giving seven gifts on behalf of the listeners so they didn't have to bring in gifts. I thought all four of our gift choices were great. Yours was such a big hit, JC, on the massager. Nice job on that one. That was, uh, if someone's looking to get a nice, and, and uh, Joanne, who has that, she already plugged it in and she put it on my back. It felt good. Oh my gosh. Now, you, now I know what to get you. <laughs> so, so it was, uh, it was on Amazon, a massager under 25 bucks. That thing popped up it was uh, like twenty four ninety nine. They had some interesting ones that I think were like. Yeah, questionable. Yes, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I found yeah. one that was unquestionable. So yeah, that, that was great. And then we had a couple. Um, once it was all said and done, there were a couple of trades going on in the green room. Yes, there there were some fair trades. They were yeah. like, okay, hey, I would like yours. Would do you want mine? And so. Um, yeah, that was so much fun. And thank you again to Pink Box for bringing in some goodies for us to eat this morning. That was so fun. Can we do one a month? Do yeah, you, the, does the it have annual... to be the holidays for a gift exchange? I just like giving gifts. This was so cool. Steph, are you happy with your gift? I was already eyeing my karaoke microphone when I was wrapping the gifts. So I closed my eyes to make it fair to see, okay, what will I pick? And destiny happened. I picked the karaoke microphone. And Jocelyn, what'd you get? A suck it shelf. I'm eating again. Sorry. She's always eating every time we come to her. <laughs> There's like plugins and you can put your stuff on top of it. It's really cute. That's cool. You got an outlet. Mm-hmm. An outlet. <laughs> that, I mean, that actually is very handy. You can use that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In the bathroom. She didn't want to trade me with for my feet thing with that. So. Your feet thing is cool. I know. It's totally cool. I love it. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we just want to jump on and say thank you for everyone for joining us. Lots of fun. We have What's Trending coming up in about three minutes. Mercedes in the mornings, what's trending Woo! on Mix 94.1? Mariah Carey is trending this morning. Her song, All I Want for Christmas is You. It has topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart for the first time ever. It was 25 years in the making, but it finally happened. Originally, it was
was released in 94, and the modern classic it reached the Hot 100's top 10 back in December of 2017. And then it rose to number three last holiday season. Now it is the first holiday number one on the Hot 100 chart in 61 years. The only other holiday song to hit number one. It ruled for four weeks back in 1958. It was this song. Christmas, Christmas time is near. Time for toys the Chipmunk song for by the Chipmunks. How sweet. 58, you said? Uh, 1958. 1958, yeah, yeah. That pulled the charts. And Mariah Carey off that Christmas song has made like $60 million. That's just insane. She literally does not ever have to work again, right? No. Ever. Huh. Mm. Interesting. I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up 1958 the charts. <laughs> yeah, look at the charts. Tell us what's, what else was on the Billboard Hot 100. I want to see what that song... 1958. Uh-huh. 1958. This date... Uh, what's today's date? It's uh, December 17th. Uh, 16th. 17th. Today's the 17th? Mm-hmm. Man. Days <laughs> Let's see here. Pulling up the charts. Yeah, the um, Chipmunk song, number one. Number two was The Platters, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. Let's uh, let's try to, let's take you back. I mean, this is before any one of us was even a, even my dad, I don't even think my dad was even. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't. Sm- smoke what? Smoke Gets in- Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, The Platters. Oh, hold on. Look at this. We have it. Oh, it's not playing. I have it if you need it. Said someday you'll find all who love are blind. Wow. Ah, Let's do a Tuesday rewind and go the best of the 50s and the 60s. <laughs> Let's do it. Number three was the teddy bears. To know him is to love him. Okay. That's number three song. Drop it in the charts. Here you go. It's, it's dropping, but here's a little taste for you. Number four? Yeah, number four song. The Everly Brothers song is called Problems. And Steph keeps throwing them up on the screen. How do we have these in our system? That is crazy. Okay, Problems. Uh, I've seen Papa Roach's version. Um, the Sex Everly Dis- Brothers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Worries, worries, pile up on my head. These are definitely not what's trending right now. <laughs> Elvis, by the way, at number six, a song called One Night. I don't even know that Elvis song. Let me see if I can find it. One night, one girl, one love. Well, that sounds just as right? good as anything. That's a good Elvis song. I like this as a background music. Also, what's trending? Me time. New survey says me time is more important for a healthy relationship than date nights. Been too lonely, too long. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. What's a good one from Elvis? That's pretty good. Got some soul to it. Here's what I and then uh, Pink is trending. Keep this on. Don't play Pink. I want to hear a little. Yeah, we're playing this. Don't worry. She was the number one top touring artist of the year, according to Polestar. Her beautiful trauma tour grossed just over $215 million. She was followed by Elton John and Ed Sheeran. And that is what's trending. How much time left in the song? Now I know. In this clip, you got 22 seconds left. We'll let it play out. We'll let Elvis take you to break. Coming up 940, which you qualify for those Lizzo tickets. One night. has got a new ringtone now, baby. <laughs> Mercedes in the morning. I was going to say Friday morning, but it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, but it feels like a Friday around here. I think it's because we had a party in here, and I, we're in party mode, right? Plus, we're the only ones in the building. I know. There's no one here for some reason today. It is a complete ghost town, but thank you 
to everyone who came out for our White Elephant Party first annual. We're definitely going to do that one again. That was so much fun. Thank you to Pink Box Donuts for supplying the donuts. Uh, thank you for Steph and Jocelyn for taking care of all the planning on that one. That was a fun one. That is it for us tomorrow. More Third Eye Blind tickets. More $150 Aaron Layla gift cards and of course more qualifying to see Lizzo the sold out New Year's Eve show at the Cosmopolitan Heather will give you actually another chance to qualify coming up in the one o'clock hour this morning and here's the line of the day I actually don't have a line of the day no? but I would like to recognize the person of the day who do you think the person of the day is a big revelation this morning. The person of the day has got to be Joanne? No, not uh. Joanne. I would like this person to grab their microphone and take a bow. Take a bow. The night is over. I don't know. Why are you looking at me? Uh, who's singing the song? Madonna. Oh, Madonna. And this morning, in the first, you talk about breaking news. In the dirt this morning, we revealed Madonna has a new boyfriend. He's 25 years old. And turns out, Jocelyn danced with him at her homecoming dance. What kind of dance? Like a dirty dancing? No dirty Forbidden. dancing. No. He probably stood in front of me and we were like this. Oh, look at her dancing. So think about it. Jocelyn's connected to this guy who's connected to Madonna, who was in her past being connected to Sean Penn. You're now connected to Sean Penn. Who's Sean Penn? Who played uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who played uh, Warren Beatty? Oh, God. Is he the one that messed up at the uh, award show? No, that's no, that was Adele Josh Travolta. Dezeem. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Warren no. Beatty did do something. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Wow, you, do, you have a good memory. Yeah. Who else has Madonna been linked to? Madonna, uh, Dennis Rodman. Dennis, you're him. connected to Dennis Rodman. Wow. How many degrees of separation is that? You are really, I mean, seriously, Madonna has your leftovers. Oh, my gosh. I didn't, like, I don't even think we hugged. Maybe we hugged once. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> same germs. Same germs. <laughs> Wow, wow, you are the person of the day. Person. Maybe you'll get Time Time Magazine's Person of the Year for that. Oh, that was, my gosh. Oh, no, it was that credit girl. Darn it. Damn. You could really, like, uh, what do they say, spill the tea on this guy, yeah. the TMZ, and, like, I'm like really embellish it. Say you, you dated for years, and he broke your heart and everything else. Cash Aww. in. I wouldn't be that mean. Poor guy. He's living it up. He's got Madonna money. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for show number 1,095 of Mercedes in the Morning. Mercedes in the morning. Did you miss the show? You're not going to want to miss this, folks. Catch up now. Download the podcast of today's show and get updates now online at Mix941.fm. Mercedes in the morning returns tomorrow morning.